The following dramatization is a fictional account inspired by actual events. Cool, I love that shot. Uh, of course, it's still pretty rough. I just had to let you see what we had so far. So, what do you think? It's pretty cool, huh? Yeah, it's pretty cool. Pretty cool. It's just a... The evil genius had a bomb on the special agent helicopter. Why didn't you just blow him up at the beginning and get it over with? Dude, then we wouldn't have a movie. Don't be a logic Nazi. I didn't know you were gonna use my face as much. Didn't plan on it, but the camera loves you. You know, next time I think I'll give you some lines. Listen, what you need to do is you need to come back to L.A. with us. I mean, you wouldn't be the first to make this transition from stuntman to actor. Let some other schmo do the dangerous stuff. Listen, I live here, and I'm more than happy to bang up whatever you have when you come to town, but this is my, my life here. I wouldn't move. Fine. Listen, we, uh, we talked about cash, right? All right, of course. Linda. Yeah, Jerry. Pam. So, uh, come on, what's with this cash thing anyways? You're on the run from the IRS or something? Forget about it, none of my business, Lollipop? Sure. Cool. that's a lot of money. OK, yeah. try not to spend that all in one place. Actually, I intend to. It's been great working with you, Cole. You too. I just wanted to tell you that. Yeah. I love you, man. Listen, as soon as I get to LA, I'm going to give you a call, all right? Yeah. All right, say okay. cool. Guys, I got a great idea. Let's get a camera set up out here and knock a few shots off before we lose the light.
think that's gonna get you out of making me breakfast. Or a sad mistake. You jumped me, remember? Oh, I know, and I had to fight you off. Yeah, mm. like I'd stand a chance. Yeah. <laughs> uh, ready for the Olympics, man. You know what? What? Uh, I know it's only part time, mm -hmm. but I really wish that you would stop doing stunt work. Mm. Mm. It's not my fault they pay me more to crash than they do to land. Mm, no, but it scares me, you know. Mm -hmm. Have you seen yourself? I mean, doesn't that hurt? Yeah, when you push it oh. like that, that's when it hurts. Yeah. Besides, you did that one. I did not. Mm -hmm. Now it's this one down here. Yeah. See the teeth marks left. Ah! <laughs> oh my god. You know what? Mm -hmm. I gotta go. Oh, jeez. Okay. Are you sure? Oh. Thank you. Uh. I just can't help it. You know, I just don't like you crashing into mountains. I'm just funny that way. I want you around long enough to make an honest woman of me. I promise to be around at least that long. And how long do you think that might be? Jules. I know, I know. You want your charter business to be in the black before we get married? You know, people thinking you're some sort of bum? You know, I just, I really don't care about money. Because you grew up rich. After four years, is that really what you think of me? It's not a criticism, Jules. You know, money's a good thing. I just grew up poor. I know how people get when they don't have any. I just want to make sure we're in the black, you know? I want to make sure we're on solid ground before we get married. Are you on solid ground? That I'd like to see. You know, if you're waiting for things to be perfect, yeah. you may end up waiting a long time. Tell me about it. Unless the real reason you're stalling is because you have another woman on the side. You know, maybe go for a hike or something. I can't. Oh. I got a one o'clock this afternoon. I can't go to it. That's great. It's just a real estate woman from Browning. She wants to take a look at some ranch land. Yeah, but that's wonderful. You know, every new <laughs> every new Come business on. has its growing pain. Mm. Six-year-old? Oh, come on. Are you ever gonna use that computer I got for you? There's a system here, you see. I, I can see why. Mm -hmm. Hey! We're going to um, check out a new gallery on Spring Street today. Great. You think I have time to slip out the back before she gets here? Be nice. She's having a tough time with her divorce. We're all having a tough time with her divorce. Hey! Hey! Brought some bagels. Oh, great. <laughs> no cream cheese, though. Frank got all the dairy products in the divorce settlement. <laughs> I was gonna fight him, but he's terribly allergic, so I'm hoping for a very large, very painful rash. It's those little things that keep me going. All right, I'm gonna get the plate. Hello, Colt. How are you? Mm hmm I would have thought that you would have been up there somewhere by now. I wish I was. Hmm. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, okay, careful. Mm -hmm. I love you. Love you, too. Mm. Don't mind me. Uh, Dinner? Yeah. Mm. Mm. Sure, you've got stars in your eyes now. Just wait a few years. You'll be seeing them. <laughs> a little scared. But just... I just wanted to hear your voice. I knew that that would make me feel better. Oh. 
Uh-uh. I would never let you down. I love you. I'd do anything for you. Aren't you gonna tell me that you love me? Yeah. I'll be there. I'll be there just like we planned. Alex Vaughn with Westville Realty. Right. Colt Erickson, how you doing? We had an appointment to see some ranch land. Yeah, you're a little early. Well, you know, I wanted to get a jump on things. <laughs> so, um, how soon before you can get it up? Just give me a second to get cleaned up. Be in the air. I just thought I'd come in and warm up. Some coffee, but I'm gonna ask you if you want some. I'll just be a minute. You ever been up in a helicopter before? No. But I'm certainly looking forward to it. I'd like to sit in the back, if you don't mind, so I can take some pictures. Sure, it's fine. Can you take your bag? No. Tower. This is November 809er Romeo. Requesting permission to enter into D class airspace over. Thank you. What kind of ranch land are you looking for? There's some good acreage coming up here, some nice lots in about a minute. Freedom, you know what I mean? Freedom's very important. Most important thing, that's what I always say. Change course. Sorry? Go southeast of here instead. Southeast? There's no ranches out there. I don't know why you'd want to go southeast. Toward Hawking. You know where Hawking is? There's nothing out there. It's just a bunch of dead government land. I wouldn't say nothing. Now, don't do anything stupid. Let's go. All right. Just relax, all right? Oh, no. 
Cost you extra, you know. Yeah, I read the brochure. Keep flying. Aren't you watching? Watching what? Where's your remote? As of this I was home, I was watching my show, and suddenly this news bulletin came on, and I wanted to get over here. Here's what we know at this hour. At about 3 p.m. Mountain Standard Time, a shocking escape took place at Hawking Federal Prison. A prison guard has been critically injured, but no other information has been released at this time. I, I just don't want we you to freak out, okay? For a statement from the warden as to his condition. This was the scene as a private helicopter made a daring landing in the prison yard. 
This footage just released to us was captured by prison security cameras. Oh my There's God. still no word on who potted the craft or the name of the escaped Oh my God, that's Colt's chopper. The escaped chopper disappeared from the sky that's after it left the prison. Authorities are still looking for it. Numerous federal and local agencies have teamed up in the search, but so far there are few leads. Yeah, you shut up. And turn around. Go on. Right. That's right. If you hadn't forgotten who your friends were, I never would have gotten to prison in the first place. I'd be in Mexico right now. We wouldn't have to do it this way, right? Do it what? I hope you don't think we're going to Mexico, because that's... It's not what's happening. Okay, you know what? Maybe you're not understanding the dynamic here. You'll go wherever we tell you you'll go. In that right, baby. Hey, Brandy. Why don't you tell your travel agent here she should have mentioned Mexico when she got in? We don't have enough fuel. We'll be on the ground before dark. Then we'll be dead. How's that, huh? Who are we anyway? See that river down there? Yeah. It runs right through the middle of nowhere! It's a Locahachi. Follow that east. East. They wanted to go to Mexico. Well, we just gotta make a little stop first, okay? Listen up. These are the three suspects. Now, we've gone proactive by releasing this prison videotape to the media. So far, we've identified two of them. The escaped inmate is Randall Vincent Savino. He was serving 25 to life for the murder of an armored car driver six years ago. He's a bad guy. Borderline paranoid, prone to violence. The fly boy is Colt Erickson. He operated a charter company here in Prelude. Now, Erickson has a juvie record, but seems to have kept his nose clean in recent years. Though we did find some activity on him via another agency. What kind of activity? Oh, well, we're still working on getting that information. Erickson and Savino have a history. They were in some trouble together as kids. We still don't have an ID on the female. This was a desperate act. So expect to be dealing with three very desperate people. I'll see Agent Forbes for your assignment. Thank you. Where were you? I oh, was taking a walk, seeing the sights. Agent Morgan, this isn't a pleasure trip. Well, you'd be surprised what you find out in the real world. What? Who is she? That's Erickson's girlfriend. She's not the woman who was with him. She's very good. But she's the one we want to talk to. And how do I get in touch with them? Yes, I have a phone book. Yes, I know how to spell FBI. Which one? What? Which one should we use? What are you talking about? Well, I'm helping you pack. You're going to stay with me till we get through this. But we don't even know what this is. How much more do you need to know? I mean, look, you can't stay here as long as he's out there. What happens if he comes looking for you? Oh, come on. Don't be ridiculous. Am I being ridiculous? Yes. I mean, I'm sure there's an explanation for this, Sarah. Yes, there's a perfectly good explanation. You've been sleeping with a psychopath for the last four years. You're just lucky it didn't go farther than it did. Look, I understand the attraction. I really do. But look, most women, they get over this bad boy face by the time they're your age, Julia. Come on. 
Colt and I are not a phase, okay, Sarah? I'm staying right here. I'm not going anywhere, all right? You, on the other hand, are going home. You're not thinking clearly, honey. Look, I understand that. It's okay. But... Julia Robinson? Yeah. I'm Special Agent Morgan. This is my partner, Agent Lawrence. We're with the FBI. Could we ask you a few questions? Get out. I said get out! Come on. this for 20 years. Go on. You realize you've got no chance of getting out of the state, let alone the country alive. They're gonna have the border, desert, canyons, crawling with feds by nightfall. I don't know what you think. I thinking. guess we gotta hurry up then, right? Come on. Keep it on. My pleasure. Seems to me like you're in it as much as we are. Hot pants had a gun on me. I had no choice. <laughs> You've been planning this whole breakout for months. Yeah, is that right? How do you figure? Come on, Colt. We know about your secret route to Mexico. The same one that we're going to take to get out of here. What are you talking about? I have been watching you for months. I know everything there is to know about you. Yeah. What about those late night trips to Mexico, amigo? You're running drugs. And what about all those visits to Randy at prison? Didn't you think that the feds might kind of wonder why you were doing that? I've never been to that prison in my life. Well, <clears throat> that's not exactly what the records show. Of course, it could have been somebody else who was signing your name. Anyway, they don't really pay too much attention to that. You're starting to get it, Colt. I planned this real good. Just too easy. What are you gonna do, huh? There's no choice. You have no way back. Guys! Guys! Somebody's coming! We gotta go now! Come 
You taking a trip? Uh, no. Do you know this man? Of course. How long have you known him? Uh, over four years. And what about him? Uh, no, I've never seen him before. Colt Erickson never mentioned the name Randy Savino? I don't think so, no. Um, I'm sure he would have. We don't have any secrets. Well, they do know each other. Fact is, they grew up together. Colt uh, was in a correctional facility with Savino's younger brother, Donald. He was in prison. It was a juvenile hall. Look, I'm... Everyone has a past, and just because Colt knew this guy, Savino, doesn't mean that they kept in touch with each other. The records show that Colt visited Hawkins Federal Prison more than a dozen times this year. Can you explain that? No. Did he say or do anything which may have indicated to you what he was planning? No, because he wasn't planning anything. Worried about money? No. Come on. We know his business was failing. He invested a lot in that chopper. He wouldn't want to lose it. Now, are you saying that didn't worry him even a little bit? His business isn't failing. It's new. And of course, he's concerned about its success. Anybody would be. But it's a normal kind of stress. And it certainly wouldn't drive him to do something like this. You're absolutely sure about it? Yes. Now, look, if you guys want to find out something, why don't you go talk to this guy, Savino's brother, Donald? Donald Savino won't be telling us very much of anything. He's dead, Miss Robinson. He was killed by police fleeing a robbery, and Colt Erickson was driving the car. They're by themselves. Maybe they just stumbled onto us. I doubt it. They phoned it in by now anyway. In about five minutes, we're gonna have the U.S. Marshals and Chewies all over us. Well, you're gonna have to lose them before that happens. No can do, Chief. Take a good look at them. They're built for speed. Face it, it's done. Like killing it! What are you, crazy? Shooting. For now. Just waiting. For what? That. We've got about five minutes of fuel left. We're on the ground. No. No, there's got to be a way out of this. There is always a way out. All ears. He's acting like he's actually got some place to go. You lose him. I can't lose him. Right. Let me give you a little lesson in aerodynamics, Randy. Here's what happens when you shoot Colt. Okay? Keep that thing out of my face before I wrap us around a rock. What are you gonna do? Hope they're not as crazy as I am. What does he think he's doing now? Your ass. Erickson 
makes any attempt to contact you, please get in touch with us right away. I'm telling you guys he's innocent. Well, I hope you're right. Oh, one other thing. Uh, there was another person involved in the escape. I wonder if you might recognize this woman. No. All right, that's enough. Look, she's told you everything she knows, okay? All right, we'll be in touch. Bastard. He's just doing his job. No, not them. Your boyfriend. Nobody was trying to find him. I can't just sit here and do nothing. Why don't you let the FBI guys do their job? They'll find him. You know why? Because they're not trying to find him, okay? They're trying to get him. Big difference. They'll shoot first and ask questions and later. We are just getting an update on the story. We'll go now to our local affiliates. The daring prison break chase that began at 3 p.m. this afternoon is over. It ended when the helicopter carrying escaped inmate Randy Sabino crashed into the canyon. Authorities are calling it a suicide run. All three suspects are presumed dead. A spokesman for the local authorities has indicated that recovery of the bodies will be difficult, given the inaccessibility of the terrain. Thank you, Ted. <laughs> we'll continue to keep you updated on these stories. And <laughs>
see us. Not if you stay tucked into the canyon. Are you so sure? It's hard enough to find somebody who wants to be found out here. You can stay buried in these canyons for weeks. Freaking genius, Colt. First you trash our ride, until you get us all killed, and now you strand us out in the middle of nowhere! Hey, listen, I just rolled my life savings in that mountain to save your ass! Full crap. I don't waste you right here! Randy, Randy, we need him. No, we don't need him. Yes, we do. You take a look around here. We got two million dollars and nowhere to spend it. He is the only one who's gonna get us out of here. You did this on purpose. Look, I'd love to hang around and chat with you. It's not gonna be long before they figure out we didn't get killed in that wreck. It gets dark really quick around here. We gotta put some distance between us and that wreckage. Let's go. Come on. We're searching the area where the chopper went down. We've already got like 50 sightings. One guy claims he saw Erickson eating a Whopper in Montreal with Elvis. Damn. Let me ask you a question. You think anyone could have survived something like that? No way. I was surprised somebody did. Colt Erickson. Hmm? This footage was shot Monday at some movie location. Colt was the stunt pilot, and he bailed out just before she hit. So you think he pulled the same stunt out there today to make us think that he and his buddy Servino are dead? I don't know. Come on, makes sense, doesn't it? Oh, maybe. Smart guy like Erickson had to know he'd never make it out of the country once he lifted off from the prison. Or maybe he downed it because he wanted to stay in the country. Look, if his girlfriend is right and he got roped into this, maybe he's just trying to, I don't know, buy himself some more time. You don't actually believe that, do you? I don't know. Julie Robinson was sure convinced, though. <laughs> Come on, you don't think she really knows? I'll bet she knows more than she thinks she does. Let's get her in here and talk to her. I wonder if she knows about this. What is it? Remember we kept getting activity on Colt Erickson? Yeah. Well, the other agency that had him under investigation, DEA. Sun's going down. It's going to get cold soon. We ought to put down for the night. Get up in the morning, get going early. No, we don't stop. We keep moving. I'm hungry. Plenty of food all around you. Yeah, all you got to do is catch it. You know this road's a dead end, Randy. I don't know where you think it's going to get you. Well, it's going to get us down to Mexico with $2 million and anything we want. You see, I got the money and you know the way, so it's me and you. No, it's not me and you. There is no me and you. There's a you and there's a her. I'm tired. I'm going to sit down. There's no me and you, pal. That's history. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I know about your new life. Big time businessman. Lots of money rolling in. See, Alex told me also about, uh, your little rich girl. Now show me a little picture of her. She's not bad. You know. Hot, rich. That's a nice score there. You just don't get it, do you? What's that? It's not about money, man. It's not about control. It's about my life. It's about staying away from the thing that killed Donnie. Don't go. What am I doing here? We just wanted to ask you a few more questions about Colt. So you can just twist everything I said. Were you aware that your boyfriend was under investigation with the DEA? 
Look, I don't believe it, okay? You guys can make up whatever lies you want to about Colt, okay? It's not gonna change anything. Well, as you can see by those pictures, it's true, Miss Robinson. He was making regular runs to a town near the Mexican border. The DEA suspected he was running some kind of controlled substances, but they couldn't prove it. Colt was not a drug runner. Come on, Miss Robinson. I happen to believe you. I think he may have been plotting this prison escape. Look. You see this right here? Mm -hmm. That's where he went down. Now, does any of that area look familiar to you? I think so. How about the surrounding area? Any place you think he might have been headed before he crashed? No, I, I don't recognize any of it. Well, thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Sorry if this was any inconvenience. Yeah. Now, what was that all about? What? You do realize by pulling out that map, you tipped her off. She knows we think he's still out there. Yeah? I don't get it. You must have known she'd clam right up. Yeah. Well, what's the point? <sighs> the point is, she's gonna lead us right to him. Sarah, listen, it's me. Meet me at Colt's hangar, all right? No, just listen to me, okay? Colt, I think he's still alive. Now this breaking news, we have just received word investigators are on the scene of a crash involving the helicopter used in today's prison escape. Authorities say they have been unable to locate the bodies of the three suspects believed to have been on board that chopper when it went down. A spokesman for the FBI search team in the canyon told us just moments ago after seeing the wreckage he finds it difficult to believe that anyone could have survived the impact. The search for the three suspects, convict Randall Savino, helicopter pilot Colt Erickson, and an unidentified female will be called off at nightfall. Authorities say the terrain is just too dangerous to continue. The search will resume at first light. Now, meanwhile, officials say it must be assumed the suspects are still alive, armed, and dangerous. We will continue to keep you updated as this story unfolds. Where'd you learn how to do this? That was a Girl Scout. Uh, you want a cookie? Oh, God, could it be any colder? <sighs> this will warm you up like this. We got a long walk tomorrow, so why don't we just rest? All right.
federal government is what happened. Oh, my God. Mm. Oh. They trashed everything. Yeah, well, hopefully not everything. Well, I don't know what you think you're going to find that they haven't already. Well, they didn't know what they were looking for. I do. That's garbage. I know, that's the way it looks, but this is how Colt kept his records. Pretty interesting filing system. The FBI knows he's still out there. Why hasn't he contacted you? I don't know, maybe he can't. Colt is going to try to find somebody who can help, somebody who trusts. Julia, did you ever consider that maybe Colt hasn't contacted you because he doesn't want to be found? Yeah, but you know what? I have to hear that from him. You can understand that, can't you? Now, come on. the news and those that do don't trust it just me and it's okay okay why don't we let this do the talking huh put that away hey yeah you give me orders put it away i just know y'all have got a real good reason for trespassing on my property Hey, man. Sorry to trouble you. Friends and I were just camping down the river. We got lost. I was wondering if we might be able to get some food from you. Why didn't you say so? Come on inside. Come on. No use, Julia. We've been at this all night. Look, thank you. Even if we could decipher any of this, there is no guarantee it's going to tell us where Colt is. I know, but I just, I can't give up yet, you know? Well, maybe it's time you should. Maybe it's time you face the facts. He's gone. <sighs> Julia. What? He bought a ring. What? <laughs> it's, it's a receipt for an engagement ring. Let me see that. He was going to propose. Oh, my God. Well, I admit it looks like something, but how can you be so sure? Because he loves me. like. I'm so sorry. It's okay. Well, okay. <laughs> let's find this guy, huh? <laughs> because if this clown thinks he can get out of marrying my best friend just because <sighs> he commits a couple of felonies, well... He's got another thing coming. Well, that's right. Hey, anything in the desert, it doesn't matter what. I know. Mean, all right. It's just there aren't. I know. Except we've got uh, C. Martinez supplies. I don't know. It's it's uh, addresses here in town. Martinez. Um, he's left messages here before he, he goes by Doc. Was he Colt's doctor? No, Colt's doctor's Hanson. Why would he want supplies from a doctor? Well. I mean, Julia, the dress is not exactly the garden spot. Mm. It's downtown, near the Mission District. I'm going there. What? Well, I'm going with you. No, look, I really, really appreciate everything that you've done, okay? But I have to do this on my own. Are you sure? Yeah. I'll get him.
What do you think? You think it works? I think it's an old truck, man. Better work. I'll tell you what. The minute we get something in our stomach, we'll tie up the old lady, and then we're all free. Get one heck of a way of showing your gratitude for her hospitality, man. Mm. Wow. You're a real cook. Twenty-five years in the hash kitchen, I guess I learned a little something. I guess so. Why don't you go on over and get some silverware out of that top drawer and put it on the table? Sure. Right or left? Left. You know, it's funny. My motto has always been if I can't microwave it, I don't need it. Otherwise, it takes too much time. Well, as you can see, I got lots of that out here. Yeah, I bet you do. So, um, do you live alone? Yeah, kids are all grown up, moved on. We keep in touch. I see them on holidays. My husband Willard, he passed away a few years ago. Well, I never really had much of a family. Now, that's a shame. It's debatable. Looking for Doc. Roque, los remedios van a estar el martes. Who wants it? Um, I'm Julia Robinson. Uh, I'm a friend of Colt Erickson's. Oh, yeah. Uh, I'm Doc. I don't know how else to say this, but uh, is Colt running drugs for you? Um. Why don't you come with me? Come this way. Food's hot. Smells good. Sure does. Mind if I wash up? Sure. Thanks. Here, uh, have some toast. I think I will, thanks. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> got some coffee. That'd be great. You like yours black, right? Yeah, black's fine. How about you? Yeah, sure. Same for me. There you go. So you folks got lost. Where are you from? Up uh, north. Unless you know your way around these parts, you can get yourself all turned around. It's a strange land. Took me a while to get used to it myself. <laughs> There's an old Indian tale about some folks who were camping in these parts. They got lost in one of these canyons. They were never heard from again. Sometimes when the wind howls, it sounds like screams. Legend goes it's them looking for a way out. Your eggs are getting cold. Come on, dig in. What are you doing, Randy? What are you 
aware of these, huh? Huh? Trying to poison us? You just slept, that's all. Yeah, I woke up in handcuffs. How'd you know about us? I asked you a question, old lady. Brittany, take it easy. It, it was on the shore wave. The three's all over it. Randy. Are you crazy? Shut up! Now, you're the one that brought us here. You know what we gotta do? Randy, you don't have to do anything. She's not gonna hurt us. She's a woman living alone in the mountains. You'd have done the same thing. Put yourself in her shoes. The keys for the pickup truck outside, where are they? They're in that old secretary, but they won't do you no good. That old heap ain't run forever. If you want to ride out of here, you're gonna have to call a cab. Now, how you get your supplies in any way? I got a friend. Tell you what. Why don't I go outside and look at the truck? Maybe I can fix it. What? Why don't I go outside and take a look at the truck? Maybe I can fix it. Okay. Yeah, all right. Just take it easy. I call them mis hijos, my kids. They love that bird of Colts. He'd give them rides sometimes. He was great with them. Did you know that the EA is investigating Colt? I know, and so did he. So he was running drugs for you? Well, yes, technically. Technically? You see, it's not all black and white. If people will come to me. They can't afford health insurance, but here, what do we do? We look down on them. We avert our eyes, you know, embarrassed by what we refer to as poverty. But down there where these children live, that's a way of life. And Colt was one of the few willing to do something about it. How? Penicillin. You see, they can't afford it legally, so I help out. I get penicillin cheap. Colt would fly it down for me. He wouldn't even charge me for the fuel. Penicillin. He never told me. Well, of course he didn't. It is illegal. And he didn't want you involved. <sighs> I have to find him. I saw it on the news. They went down. Do you really think Colt Erickson would fly his helicopter into a canyon wall by accident? What are you saying? He's still alive. I think he staged the whole crash. Son of a gun. Of course. The FBI showed me a map. They said he went down near Horsehead Gorge. Now, he does stunts out there. He knows those canyons better than anyone. Where would he go out in the desert? Well, I don't know anything about the desert, but I know about someone who might be able to help, a friend, a dear friend. You got a good car? Yes. Good. I'll give you directions. I know you can get there before dark. There she goes. You think Erickson's inside? No, she's in too big a hurry. But she's going to him, that's for sure. Right. Damn, I hope you're right. It's just like I said. Let her do all the work. Anything? Not yet. Don't get so much distance. Look, if I back off, maybe she'll do something. Oh, come on, don't lose her. I'm not gonna lose her. What are you doing? 
There's blood on it. There's always been blood on it. What are you thinking about? What's going on in the head of yours? You're amazing. You set your mind on something and you get it. You always get it, Alex, don't you? Now keep your hands off my money. Keep your hands off. Is it fixed yet? No. Not yet. If you're standing there, I ain't gonna make it happen any faster. Come on, look. Truce, okay? Because right about now, I'm the only friend you've got. I know you're no stranger to this old lady. Now, I haven't told them anything yet, but I could have. I could have told them everything. I think you and I got to talk. Fire away. I'm all ears. Look, it was not supposed to be like this. He said it was going to be really easy. He said that you'd go along with everything once you saw the money. The fact is, Colt, we have completely ruined your life. You're stuck. I'm stuck. Hey, that's not such a bad thing. Two million dollars? That's a lot of money. Oh, yeah, yeah. Cole, he's gonna kill me. He's gonna kill both of us. Don't tell me you just figured that out. Okay. I need you. You need me. We gotta be smart enough here to figure this whole thing out. Okay, what do you got in mind? 50-50 split. You and me, a million each. 50-50. Randy's never really been that good at math. I think even you could figure out he's gonna get cut out of that. Yeah. But I don't think it'll really matter if he's not around. You want me to kill him? Is that what you're saying? No. I'm gonna kill him myself. I just wanna make sure that you're on my side. See, I don't leave here without you. But without him? You and I could do a lot. Together. Get out! Come on, get out! Come on, you get over here! Come on! Look, Randy, just take it easy. Don't you tell me to take it easy. Just keep your mouth shut. Randy, I didn't mean anything by it. You know that. You want her to kill me? You want to get rid of me? No, no, of course not. I, I just came out to make sure that he was, you know, fixing the, the, the truck. You're worthless, you know that? I should just kill you right here, right now. No, baby. You know I love you. I came and I got you out of prison. I, I'm here. Yeah, you're here. You're here with him. No, with you. It's always you. It's always been you. You're going to have to prove it to me. Yes, OK.
Take it. Take it. Prove to me whose side you're on. Come on! Don't make her do this, Randy. Quiet! Come on. Come on, do it yourself. I said quiet! Or what? You're gonna kill me? Haven't you destroyed enough lives already? You gonna turn her into a murderer, too? You gonna do to her what you did to Donnie? Donnie's dead. He'd still be alive if it wasn't for you. You think? I don't think so. It would have happened to him somewhere. If it didn't happen at the liquor store, it would have happened someplace else. I had nothing to do with that. I wasn't even there, remember? That's right. You weren't there. Donnie was. He was trying to impress you, Rand. He was trying to impress his big brother. Yeah, and what about you, huh? Why were you there? Because he called me, Randy. He was scared. He started crying. He lost his nerve. The truth is, when it came down to it, he chose me over you. I was more of a brother to him than you could ever have been. That's the truth. Come on. Come on. Come on, big man. Come on, shoot me. You used to be smart, huh? What happened? I'll kill the role model! Come on! Do it! Randy! I... Don't make me do this. Well, it's time you earn your stripes, baby, okay? It's real easy. All you have to do is point that gun and shoot him! Don't do it, Alex. Believe me, wherever you come from, there's worse. Shut up! I said shoot him! Ah, oh, damn it! Do it! Do it! Do it! No! Give you a loaded gun. Don't do it, Randy. <laughs> Freezing. Turn on the heat. There's nothing listed on this map. No towns. Look, it's probably one of those. Crazy desert homesteaders. There's dozens of them in these rocks around here. Great. All those anti government wackos. She's really cooking now. Well, we could always slap on the cherry, pull her over, and give her a speeding ticket. Very funny. Made us. She wants to pull off road. She could be anywhere. Call in for some air support.
cold. Get out that door and give yourself up before the FBI blows us all to hell. I'm not going back. I am not going back. Do you understand? I'll die first, and I'll take everybody here with me. What have we got here? We found Julia Robinson's car up on the ridge, sir. Ground units on the scene discovered this. It's gonna be a while before we make any kind of ID. Looks like a shotgun at close range. We think it's Alex Vaughn, the female perp. What do you know about this place? Most of Thelma White, 65 widow taxpayer. You know that Erickson used to deliver medical supplies out to her. Apparently, he's kept up the friendship. We think there's four people inside, at least one friendly, Julia Robinson. Any response at all? Uh, it's dead quiet. They're not talking back. What's going on? What are they doing out there, huh? What are they waiting for? Savino, Erickson, we just want to talk. We want to make sure everybody's all right. I tried to be funny out there. I killed them all, I swear. Looks like you're not going to have to wait very long. You know, Alex will know what to do. You don't need Alex. What? What the hell are you talking about? You got hurt. <laughs> Wanna use your little girl as a hostage? Exactly. You can tell the feds we won't kill her. We won't kill her if they give us a helicopter, enough gas to get to Mexico. That never works! It never works because they always give you their pilot. You've got me, remember? Why should I trust you? Have I lied to you yet? I'm up to my neck in this, Randy. I can't get out of it. Alex is dead. They can pin me as an accomplice. I'm an accessory. Come on, man. This can work. We take the money, we take the chopper, and we go to Mexico. You and me, man. What do you say? The old days, huh? Yeah. Just like the old days, man. Come on. Randy, how many nights did you sit in prison thinking about this? Dreaming about your money, you got it now. You and me, the money to Mexico. What the hell? What do you want? Colt, you don't have to do this. It's two million bucks, Randy. It's a lot of money. She's a rich kid. She doesn't understand about this stuff. Most guys like us spend our whole lives waiting for a hit like this. We got it in our laps. Let's make it work. Come on, man. Good time, me. We should think about tear gas and the moving in. Siobhan? Yeah. Get your men ready. Here. I got to talk to whoever's in charge. Mrs. White. 
Over here. Is it? It's better work. Trust me. Easy. Practically sent it right into this. All right, we're going to take this nice and slow. I want all my men to stand down. I repeat, stand down. I don't want any heroes. Sabino, Erickson, you take the police chopper. No one will follow you. Why don't you leave us the girl? Look at him, man. That wasn't part of the deal. All right, easy. Easy out. Back off! All my men, back off! Let's go. All right. Yeah, we're fine. So you should want to take me downtown and arrest me. That's right. I don't think you'll be in too long, though. Can I have just one minute? What? What? I'll give you half a minute. Hurry up. This isn't exactly the way I planned it. 
That's something I've been trying to give you for a couple of days. Remember what you said before about not waiting until things were perfect? We're happy for you. Let's go.